All right. So I was reading about how this f- film feeling a little bit like a, a piece of theater was very appealing to you. So is there anything mm. about working in that sort of stripped down environment that I don't know, even after all these years, had you discovering something new about your craft that you're eager to apply on future films? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'd come off the back of Thor and Avengers and uh, Extraction. And so, you know, a lot of big special effects and and, uh, and action, which I love and is fun and fantastic. But I really wanted to do something smaller and more contained and character driven and just focused on the uh, you know, the individuals within this space. And it was right through sort of COVID restrictions and so on. So if we were going to make a film, it had to be contained and the opportunity came up to, to make this film. And we shot it in, I think about four weeks um, on two or three sets in one safe contained environment. And it, yeah, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I mean, it looks pretty intense. And the the thoughts that this movie put in my mind are, uh, you know, a little, a little disturbing, but I imagine you did have fun. <laughs> we don't necessarily need this in the movie, but I do tend to get a little obsessed with backstory information on very curious characters. So it was making me wonder, is there any backstory details that you came up with that maybe we don't see or hear in the film, but are heavily informing, you know, the way he carries himself and the decision making process he goes through? Yeah, I, I think that he's an individual who... Um... A complex individual, a huge ego, highly intelligent, void of the ability to feel empathy, I think, to an extent, and, and um, lack of social etiquette. Um, whether that had to do with his sort of, you know, inner chemical makeup or whether it was to do with his childhood is up to the interpretation of an audience. Um, I, you know, the, the sort of, there is a little hint at, at his childhood and the fact that there was a real um, lack of, of, emotional connection and, and love and support that we all need. Um, and so I do think that, you know, his experience as a, as a young child has led him to a place of, uh, well, led him to this place where he's trying to fill in the blanks, I guess, and, and try to, you know, make up for what he feels is missing in his, his emotional, personal personality and his makeup. I don't know, maybe a prequel would be even more disturbing than this film. The big myth it could be. <laughs> so I was reading a quote from uh, Joseph in the press notes about how the ensemble in this movie really raised each other's game. So given how many scenes you share with Miles, is there anything about him as a scene partner that you really appreciated and maybe helped you tap into something in your own character that you wouldn't have been able to reach without him? Yeah, definitely. Um, it, he has such a fun sense of humor and there's a sort of cheekiness to, to him, which... Um, which kind of made me feel like I was back in high school and we we're kind of doing something silly and wrong. And, 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 um, and the film has that quality. There's an unpredictable sort of odd uh, suspense that plays out through the film. And so, you know, we were playing one emotion and one idea, yet we were sort of trying to stifle and hold something else aside. I think that comes through um, and, 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 and it was great. And he's a, a great collaborator, collaborator, um, incredibly talented you know quite an intensity to him too but he can be vulnerable in the, on 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 a, on, a, on, a, on a dime so yeah he's a lot of fun and jo- journey smollett too had I did a lot of scenes with miles and then started working with journey in one scene and instantly it kind of shifted my perspective and how i was playing that particular scene which is what you want you know you don't want to you come in with a set of ideas and you hope people are going to surprise you and redirect you in a space it's cool she has something else. I'll end on a semi-silly one. We play a filmmaking Would You Rather game all the time. And the scene with uh, the G46 and the laughing made me think of this one. Would you rather have to fake laugh in a scene or fake cry in a scene? Well, I'd say I'd say fake, fake laugh because the byproduct of that is usually joy and you feel pretty good afterward. The fake crying can be, you know, you occasionally got to dig into something you might not want to have a have a think about to sort of drum up some of that emotion. So you and yeah, Miles are on the same wavelength. You went for the same thing. Good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your time today. Congratulations. Thank you very much.